Hello, welcome to Wheel of Cheese, a video game cheese show where the questions are pointless, the points are worthless, and the prize is useless. A Wheel of Cheese. This week's cheese... Resident Edam. <laughs> nice cheese. Thank you. Uh, if eaten fully, it says in my notes, it will give you 25 HP and 180 over 95 BP. <laughs> Let's meet the teams. So we've got the blue team with John. Hello, John. Hello, mate. What have you been playing this week? Um, I've been playing um, Gorillas by Q Basic for DOS. <laughs> right, yeah. Like throwing exploding bananas at people. A, a classic. I believe everyone's been playing that this week. And Andy? Uh, this week I've been playing Stranded Deep, where I nearly completed it, but it's turned into a lot of simulator. <laughs> And our guests, and I have it on good authority because they wrote these introductions. <laughs> we have Heyman, pro wrestler and host of YouTube cult classic The Claimant Show. The Crocodilian Psycho. Yeah, Crocodilian Guilty Psycho. Guilty as charged. Cool. Yeah. I got pants to prove it. <laughs> is, that, is that an official qualification? This absolutely is, as far as I'm concerned. Who's going to argue with me? That's a good point. Yeah, that's my point. And to my right, we have Patsy. Hi. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. I have it here that your adorable, hilarious, sassy <laughs> blue gamer girl. Oh, stop it. Who has, was a semi finalist in Britain's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. Has also written and produced her own five star sellout adult comedy cabaret in London. Not just a pretty face. Uh huh. How, oh. um, how adult was it? Oh, there was dildos and fucks and all sorts in it, so yeah. Pretty, pretty adult then. Yeah. I have yes. to make sure that people know that I'm not for children. I've grown up. Would you kindly put your fingers on buzzers and we'll get started. Round one. So, everyone, who plays video games? Yes, Cayman. Me. You're right. I do. That was Wheel of Cheese. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you next time. So, the media will have it, it's teenage boys. But who actually plays video games? Your mum. Oh, technically, <laughs> yes. It's awful, John. <laughs> yes, come again. Your dad. Yes, he doesn't actually. I'm you know, my mum, technically, with Scrabble. It's a video game, unless it's a board game. Then it's a board game, but a board game on the video, video game. Andy. We do. Yes, we do. Could you be more specific? Us. That's exactly the same specificity <laughs> as we do. Do you mean everyone? Everybody. Pardon? Everyone. I do mean everyone. Believe it or not, everyone plays video games nowadays. Uh, if you don't believe me, the UK's average gamer is in his late 20s, male or female. It's about 50-50 split. And for a bonus point, does anyone know the fastest growing demographic? John. Cheaters. Uh, I don't know if you're alluding to my video game plays where we've done challenges. <laughs> uh, no, cheaters famously can't play video games. No opposable fun. <laughs> Girls in hot tubs. <laughs> no, famously, because of the electrics, that would be dangerous. <laughs> yes. Japanese people in hot tubs. <laughs> Japanese people, again, they're not uh, electric proof. There's probably a better word for that. So, no. I think, yes. Girls in hot tubs playing Game Boys because they're batteries. <laughs> <laughs> there are girls that definitely do play with things that require batteries in hot tubs. <laughs> Um, I think we might be straying from the video game side of things. I said a Game Boy. Moving on. Um, the fastest growing demographic is women over 30. Uh, the Candy Crush generation, women literally playing Candy Crush on their phone on the commute. That's one thing I've never played in my life. The commute? Yes. Yes, yeah. oh, you should. It's a beautiful instrument. <laughs> right, should we go on to... Our first glitches round. Nice. Is everyone excited by that? Ecstatic. I'm bloody wicked. <laughs> round two. What we do in this round is we'll play some gameplay and then we'll stop it before a glitch. All our panel have to do is tell me what happens next. And no, it's not a round we've stolen from a popular BBC quiz show. It's completely original on our own. So let's get on with what happens next. Play VT. Here we go, man. Dives. Oh. Andy. Uh, does a shark eat him on entry into the water? I would say let's see, but let's see what everyone else has got to say. Yes, Cayman. Does he perhaps realise that it's not actually the sea, it's not actually water, but it is in fact concrete, which is just set 
and he's about to crack his skull and spill all over the place. Then a load of wrestlers come along with steel chairs, pulverize the crap out of his body and stamp all over his soul, which is trying to escape. I'm going to say two things to that. Firstly, no. Oh. And secondly, I think uh, points for imagination there. Well, thank you very much. It, it couldn't be further from what actually happens, but... Points nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. but... Thing. John, any idea? Um, I'm going to say that at this point in time, he's deciding that um, he no longer wants to be in a video game and uh, actually um, comes into the real world where he's now an accountant. <laughs> Patsy. <laughs> I was wondering if, if, if the water was actually outer space and it's like a time portal or something. It's probably the closest. Right? Should we look? Um, whoa, the water's not exactly out of space, but it's, it's not there, and it just <laughs> <laughs> hits well, the ground. Well, that's pretty much what I said. You said the water turned to concrete, and then you got beaten up by wrestlers. <laughs> it's attention to detail. I wanted it. It's to quite a lot of detail. Yeah, I took attention actually, to Actually, I think you're fine. They cut it early. So uh, if, you let, if you let it run for a bit, you'd still the wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Technically, the wrestlers, the, the wrestlers may have turned up at any moment. I would have turned up. <laughs> <laughs> waded through that concrete. Just saying. Somehow, that concrete that is set that you can wade through. Should we look at another one? Yes, please. Yeah. Good. Play VT. Oh, what's happening here? I believe this game's called Twins or Brothers or Twin Brothers, which is difficult to not be twin. Came in again. You're quick on the buzzer. Is it a, a, a missile drop kick from the top of the ladder out in the guy below? It's possible. I don't know what missile drop kick is. So Shall we to show you? Uh, we don't have a ladder. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate for you, lucky for me. Andy! Is it the bird box falls off the wall, hits the guy on the ground and he glitches through the wall? Ooh, that's a good answer. Could be. Patsy? I would like to say I love that man's sideburns. That is all. <laughs> he reminds me of Wolverine. They are fine sideburns. Lucky yeah. we get to see them again. We play the clip. John? Ooh. I thought I might as well press it. Just to, I just... knew you were going to. That's why I said John. May well help. Um, I think he uh, realises that his nose is incredibly offensive and then immediately goes for nose surgery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cayman. Is that a dead deer upside down on his back on the floor? I think it's grass, is it not? Ah, well, okay. I would say zoom in, but we had so many issues just replaying the video. Let's not, <laughs> even, let's not even attempt that. Right, you know. let's see. Let's see what the actual answer is. I'm going with, um, it's a guess, but I think he sticks his head up oh. and <laughs> And then they do a little dance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2021. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that sort of behaviour. Did it go right inside? It certainly did. Right up the jacks. Yeah, either that or that man got a broken neck. He'd be <laughs> licking his own nipples. It'd be great at changing light bulbs, though. <laughs> you wouldn't even like it, would you? Just, yeah. just straight up. Set me back. Round three. With the uh, increasing number of Final Fantasy games, it makes you wonder why Final Fantasy was called Final Fantasy. Uh, which is a coincidence, because my next question is, why is Final Fantasy called Final Fantasy? Oh, it, it's Cayman again, but I feel John knows this, but he was just too late at the buzzer. Cayman. Was it, I'm familiar, well, I've heard about this place called the Fantasy Lounge. <laughs> Is there anything to do with the fantasy lounge? Did they just film it or make it, sorry, in front of a load of strippers and what have you? the strippers involved in the, the creation of this game? The strippers which I heard about? I'm, I'm going to say... Just heard about. I'm going to say... Um, it's just it, what I heard. It's very possible. I like the fact that you're focusing on the word fantasy, where clearly the focus of my question was on the word final. <laughs> um, but I, I'll be, I don't know. John. Really boring. I do know the answer to this I one. I thought you would. Uh, so the, uh, the real reason behind it is that Square were in massive financial uh, trouble at the time and it was literally meant to be the last game that they were ever going to make and then it made a crap load of money and saved the company. Wow. Uh, now there is a hundred fantasies. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, were there strippers involved to your knowledge? Uh, at least seven. 
Oh, Good. Um, I, believe, I believe that's a lie and could get us into trouble. So um, let's edit that out. It's in fact correct. The company was facing financial difficulties and the producer, whose name was, I uh, apologise for my um, pronunciation, Sakaguchi? I know. Sakaguchi, all right. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's what they do in the strip club, but it sounds like <laughs> <that's> Sakaguchi. <laughs> Uh, it was also Sakaguchi's last attempt. If it failed, he would have to go back to college. Oh. I know. So well done. I did think John possibly knew that. Bonus question for everyone. Four. It's called Final Fantasy. How many, at the time of recording, Final Fantasy games have officially been released? John? No. Uh, are we talking canon in the timeline? Or? How many Final Fantasy games... Have been released. Oh, that's difficult, you see, because John. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let the man answer. I'm gonna go canon and go 15. Okay, Andy. I was gonna say 15. Anyone else want to guess? Cayman. 69. <laughs> Interesting. If uh, if Patsy's answer is 40, <laughs> is 42 or point 20, we're laughing. Patsy, do you have an answer to this? How many Final Fantasy games have been released? I was going to say 10, but I think that's wrong because I, I don't play this game. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would anyone like a bonus, bonus question, which is who thinks they're the closest? Oh, oh. Can I change my answer to 16? Because wasn't one in two parts? 16, you think? No, there wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to put you out of your misery. Uh, Cayman is the closest with 69. I what? knew it. What? At, yeah. knew it. At the time of recording, there is officially 103 no way. games no way. Wait a made minute. with in the Final Fantasy canon and name. So you're talking so about. So I was right at the beginning. No, you said 10, didn't you? I said there were 100. I was only joking. Oh, I, I wasn't being serious. Yes. Wow. Cayman, you were wrong. The real <laughs> answer is. 103. Patsy, points. Yeah. Nice, oh, well played. Right. This is um, scandalous. What <laughs> you failed to take into account is there's about 43 mobile games yeah. in the final. Yeah. Uh, the Victus, Tactics. I, yeah. I, I wasn't sure whether they go that way or not. And there's, mobile there's, games There's also don't one um, which I've heard about uh, on the dark web. <laughs> involving <laughs> strippers. Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> it involves strippers and then some. But that's just what I heard. The yeah. guy on the street was telling me about you, it. You've before. never been there? No. So that time I wouldn't know. Well, I you don't know anything about the street, anything about the dodgy light above it, uh, the dodgy doorbell. Yeah. I didn't know nothing Dave, about Dave, Dave, body bell. <laughs> yeah, it's all, man. Yeah. all news to me. Good lads. Just what I heard. <laughs> now, an easy one. All right. The games industry loves an abbreviation. You've got TAS for tall assisted speedrun. But what game would you be playing if you played, bear with me, an MMO RTS FPS RPG? You may want to write that down, even though we've not given you anything to write stuff down with. Andy? A multiplayer uh, online something role playing game. I missed the middle letters. You missed, you missed that at, least, lot. at least 50% of that. <laughs> if anyone can get even 50% of that, 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 was, that was so close. Pardon? That was so close. You know, you almost had it there. Mm -hmm. You almost got there, yes. I'll be the if, closest if no one else yeah. can do that. Yeah. If 50% is considered close. <laughs> um, it's not, um, just so you know. Anyone else? Um, Want to repeat it? Yes, Can please. Yeah. That was again, yeah? It is, what is a MMO RTS, look at Andy's little brain going, FPS RPG. The first right, my, it's, uh, my mum's optimal performance, reaching out titty growth. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, I didn't think this would happen, but you're actually further away than Andy was. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> right, so good place for that. It is. <laughs> Your mum's optimal growth, though, I think, <laughs> should, should get you some points. How is she, by the way? So she's, yeah, like, well, other, other than the obvious, oh, she's, she's doing <laughs> yeah. great, like, you know. Well, to be honest, we don't know, it might have been the smart days we're talking about. It could yeah, be innocent. Up, up to the best of them. <laughs> John. Right. I can't do MMO, but I can do um, real-time strategy, uh, role-playing game, first-person shooter. Uh, oh. See, I don't know what to do here, because you've got 75% of it, 
in 66.666% recurring correct order. Yeah. So I, I, I can't do math. A bit like Malcolm and Wise. It's the, it's the right thing just it, in yeah, the wrong order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got all the right <laughs> letters just in the wrong order. Um, which, incidentally, is how I spell. Jeez, what nerd came up with that shit? <laughs> uh, I think we can give up on that. It is a... Would you like to say the first bit? Massively multiplayer online. Yeah. Real-time strategy. Ah. First-person shooter. Uh, Role-playing game. So it's a real shame I didn't listen to the first bit that Andy said and completely ignored yeah, that's it. it. That is it. technically how you would play this game. I went, <laughs> yeah, you got 50% of it right. And you at that point should have just gone, oh, well, that's 50% more. Yeah. But somehow, no. Round four. The next round is a guess the sound effects round where we play a sound effect. So now panelists have to guess what that sound effect is. I probably could have stopped at the first sentence, but talking's fun. So, panel, we're going to play a sound effect. You have to guess what it is. Play the sound effect. Oh. I'm not going to go to John because he's, <laughs> he's looking smug. <laughs> Why yes. did I smile? <laughs> Patsy, what do you think that sound effect is? I think it's when you get a star in Mario 64. Oh. It's definitely Mario 64, right? Oh, oh. it's definitely Mario 64, right? Oh, yes. Anyone want to hazard a guess? Not John? Well, I was going to say it's. That's the sound effect I normally get when I go to the end of a rainbow, mug a unicorn, and nick his pot of gold. Oh, it's, it's the it's same sort of thing. They kind of blow up and explode in midair and just oh, yeah. psh, like that, and then <laughs> like that sound, yeah. I mean, that was beautiful when it started, and then it's psychopathic at the end. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You're, You're welcome. You're all there. Lollipops, rainbows <laughs> everywhere. Um, you know where to find me. Yeah, explosion. It's also like when you have the first cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> And you're awake. But it's all oh, Mario 64. Oh, can, can I answer again? <laughs> I'm not stopping you. It's like just before you get the star. And then it goes bop, 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 bop. It, it, it's about as close How as many goes are you going to give her? Oh, I'm so close, right? I'm so close. You are so close. By the fact, it's still. That's what she said. It's still Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> Andy. Is it when you get an extra life in Mario? John. So what it is, yes. once you, in Mario 64, once you've jumped through the painting, up comes a row of... Stop now. Um, Would you like to play the clip, please? Yeah. Ah, oh, uh, man. It is exactly when you jump through the painting, so... And then uh, comes the tune, ba 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 right? Yeah. It does, yes. It goes to do that. So I got that, that part right. But that, that wasn't it. <laughs> God um, damn it. I thought I explained the rules about four times just for the introduction here. <laughs> What I do is I play a sound effect, and you have to tell me what the sound effect is. <laughs> All right, well, that was so cool. Next clip. Yeah. I'm going to go to Andy, because he's in pain. No, give me a second. There, there. It oh, it's the um, plant from Skyrim. I want to say it's called something like Moonshade. Nitrile. Do you want to keep making up names? Glowing <laughs> plant. <laughs> Dark shade. If I said to you, Nern root. Yes, Good. that's the one. Play the clip. There it is. Nern Wow. Root. Sorry, I didn't give anyone else a chance, but it seemed. It was, I just thought I'm, it was the undertaker's gone there, didn't you? Know, I, I, I was thinking I was inside a church bell. Yeah, oh, yeah. A, a crossover there. And the last clip, the sound effects round. <whistles> oh, I can guarantee at least two oh, of you. Oh, I got it. Is that, we are to That's when you hold the keyboard <laughs> down too long and then <laughs> the shift key tells you to <laughs> do that. That'd be good to be what to. Yeah. I think you're sticky keys. Stick right? shift. Yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Keep hold of that. We'll see if anyone else gets closer. Okay. By closer, I mean right. <laughs> <laughs> play, have we played again, please? Can we play it again, please? No. <whistles> oh. <whistles> okay. Does it include a dolphin? Oh, it's not that. It's not. It's not echo, it. but. Can, can we get a clue? Does it? Is it? Does it involve a dolphin? No. <sighs> okay. I can no, see, what, I can see yeah. why you thought it did. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think it yes. is uh, one of the um, select buttons in Final Fantasy. I think specifically when you click the, um, the save icon. 
possibly. It's close. Oh, no. So I'm going to give it to you. Uh, <laughs> and I know you've played it. Play the clip. It's not just one, it's every sound effect that you get <laughs> when you go into the menus in Final Fantasy VII. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's haunting me because of our Final Fantasy VII challenge, and now I can hear it. I like yeah. that you still say challenge. Uh, I won't tell anyone what the score was, but... <laughs> um, yeah. It did sound like the stick shift, though, as well. It did, it did. It did. So oh, technically, I, I should have a point for that, if you ask me. Technically, it did sound like that, but technically, it also wasn't that. So the, well, but the you can win back all your points. Next, the actual game round. I know, oh, it's God. exciting. Here we go. We're our two guests go head to head okay. on the classic Atari game, Combat. Combat! You're mine. Combat, on the classic console, the Atari 2600, first came out in 1977, which means I'm probably the only one here alive when it was released. Round five. Okay, so I'm, I'm blue, right? I'm just checking oh, that I'm blue. All right. Yes? I'm, I'm on the left-hand side, what right? The, what okay. the heck? Okay, go forward. You need, need, to, need to move this. That's it, mate. Keep yeah. turning around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. now around. we're talking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Goddamn. It's go. so stiff. <laughs> I'm going to bust you. The thing with this game is it's very much a game of two bits. Right. Oh, there you go. No, go, go. Uh, oh, no. Everything. Yes! No, 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 no. Oh, yes! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. No! Ooh. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Why would you move? Yes. Is it over? That's, that's it. Yeah, no, that's oh, it. Yeah. That's it. Don't, 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 let, don't let her cheat you into. Uh, oh, ah. whoa, 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 whoa. I guess it's best oh, of three. Oh, oh, it's going back. We're going best of three. We're all right. Okay. My little You know what they say about walls. Oh, okay. Oh, no, the, uh, I bounce it off the wall. That's a wall. Okay. Okay. Next to another approach. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh. oh no 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 no! Oh! Yeah. I walked right into that. I walked right into it. Oh, you oh, like them apples? Are yeah. you like them apples? I opened my big nut now. Hey! <laughs> Fatality. Well, I think we'll all agree that was quite a game. Yeah. Uh, so, had, no, <laughs> is it not? Yeah, I sucked, oh. but it's okay. We'll get you back. You yes! Can get, you can get your revenge. Yes! Excellent. <laughs> On the subject of revenge, even though it's got nothing to do with revenge, let's have a look at the scores. <gasps> Red team, 9.5. Yes! 9.5. The blue team, 10.5. Oh, oh, oh. That's like one. Clutch, oh, clutch oh, ending in the tank game. <laughs> ah. We've Googled and wikied every answer we've used tonight. So if you disagree with any of them, please feel free, contact them. Good night. <laughs>